वेलकम टू इन फाइव मिनट्स ना विल बी राइटिंग अ प्रोग्राम टू मल्टीप्लाई ऑल नंबर्स इन अ गिवन एरे विद अ गिवन नंबर एन विल एज्यूम ओवर एरे साइज इज फाइव देन विल इनपुट फाइव वैल्यूज इन द एरे विल ऑल्सो इनपुट अ नंबर टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड देन विल मल्टीप्लाई ऑल द नंबर्स इन द एरे बाय द गिवन नंबर एंड डिस्प्ले द मॉडिफाइड एरे नाउ आवर प्रोग्राम विल स्टार्ट ऑब्वियसली विथ डिफाइनिंग एन एरे ऑफ साइज फाइव then some i variable as a looping variable that is index variable and some n variable as a number to multiply all the numbers in the given array now what we need to actually do here we have to define this array input values in the array using some for loop then we will put some number in n then multiply this n with a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and then the values in the array will change then output the modified array first to understand the question exactly what we are supposed to do because sometimes the array questions are bit confusing so let's start first we define the array and all the variables so this is ready with us then this loop will input five numbers in the array first message will appear enter five numbers and the loop will start inputs a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 let's take an example numbers as 5 2 7 8 3 some values are input now obviously after that we need to input n also for that we write print f enter number to multiply and scan f will input the value into n let's take an example value of n is 3 so you have to multiply a0 with n a1 with n a2 with n a3 with n a4 with n all a0 to a4 will change then output them now again let's go forward and see if i want to multiply let's say only a1 that is only this number by n and print it what we can do is we'll multiply a1 equal to a1 into n so a1 will change to 6 and print a1 so output should be 6 but i need to repeat it for a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 so to repeat it for all the numbers instead of using a1 obviously i'll write over here a variable as i where i varies from 0 to 4 and while printing i'll put over here backslash t so that output will be after tab so after every number there will be tab space to repeat it for five values i'll write over here for i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus now this kind of loops we have done in previous videos so just understand how it's going to work as the loop will start over here i will be set to 0 this will multiply a0 equal to a0 into n so a0 will change to 15 this will print a0 that is 15 then tab Then again, i becomes one. Condition is true. It multiplies a one equal to a one into n, so a one changes to six. Prints six with tab. Again, i plus plus occurs. I becomes two. Let's go slow and understand. Now condition is true. This a two is equal to a two into n, so a two multiplied by n that is seven into three occurs. A two changes to twenty one, and then this prints a two, so it prints twenty one tab. Again, i plus plus occurs. I becomes three. This time, a three equal to a three into n occurs. So a three multiplied by n changes to twenty four. Outputs a three prints twenty four. Tab. Again, i plus plus occurs. I becomes four. Condition is true. Multiplies a four equal to a four into n. So it changes to nine, and then prints a four. So it prints nine. Tab. Then i plus plus occurs. I becomes five, and the loop will stop. So this loop stops. And we got the output as fifteen, six, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-nine. That's the final resultant array. Then obviously we'll put one more curly bracket to finish main. So that is how we write a array program with loops. Now you can see here we run a printf command with for loop to input number of five values, and here uh, one more for loop to process data in the array and output the values in the array. So whenever we want to work with array, we need to write some kind of loop to process all the values in the array. Now again, we can see the size of the array doesn't matter. If in a question array size was given as 500, we have to just write 500 over here, and then all the loops will change to 500, so that they go from 0 to 499. So whenever there is an array problem, just decide the logic what is to be done with single variable, and then same logic will be applied to all the numbers, all the values in the array. So just decide what is to be done with one AI, and then repeat it for all the numbers. Thank you.